morning everyone a very warm welcome to respected director ma'am principal ma'am vice principals respected teachers and my dear friends this is the akshaya of grade 7 here to read a speech about the national sports day as we gather here to celebrate national sports day i would like to thank my teacher for giving me an opportunity to speak a few lines about the national sports day national sports day is celebrated every year on the birth anniversary of indian hockey legend major dhyan chand on august 29th national sports day is dedicated to the great athlete and hockey player major dhyan chand known as the wizard of hockey he won 3 gold medals in the olympics for india in the years 1928 1932 and 1936 on this day the president of india offered awards at the rashtrapati bhavan to recognize the athlete contributions to the discipline This day is celebrated to realize the necessity and importance of sporting activities in our daily routine life. As sports help to maintain better cardiovascular health, weight loss, lowering blood pressure, stress and reducing body fat. Even it helps to improve our abilities and confidence level by working hard towards reaching specific goals. I would like to wind up my speech by sharing a few famous quotes for National Sports Day. Being a mother of two, if I can win a medal, so you can all. Don't give Up. take me as an example by madam mary com people will throw stones at you you turn them into milestone by sir satin tendulkar thank you india celebrates national sports day on 29th august to commemorate the birth anniversary of hockey legend major dhyan chand the day is also dedicated to the nation's sports heroes and champions honoring the contribution and dedication towards bringing laurels to the country Major Dhyan Chand was an Indian field hockey player regarded by as many the greatest field hockey players in history. He was known for his extraordinary ball control and goal scoring feats. In addition to earning 3 Olympic gold medals in 1928, 1932 and 1936 during an era, era where India dominated field hockey. His influence extended beyond these victories as India won the field hockey event in 7 out of 10 Olympics from 1928 to 1964. Yahan par kisi ko pata hai Dhyan Chand ji to father of hockey kyu bola jata hai? Why is he called as the father of hockey? Thank you. But uska asli reason ye hai जब वो हॉकी खेल रहे थे एक दिन मैच खेल रहे थे तब उनने बॉल ऐसे मारी गोल पोस्ट पे कि वो अंदर नहीं गई बट उनने सही मारी थी तो वहाँ बैठ के जो फैंस देख रहे थे गेम उन्होंने कहा कि ध्यानचंद जी आपने इतना इजी पोस्ट क्यों छोड़ा तो ध्यानचंद जी ने बोला कि ये गोल पोस्ट का जो मेजरमेंट है वो गलत है और वो ये बोल के ग्राउंड छोड़ के चले गए तो जब वहाँ पर मेजरमेंट्स किए गए गोल पोस्ट के चेक करने के लिए कि वो सही बोल रहे थे कि नहीं तो पता चला कि वो सही थे गोल पोस्ट का मेजरमेंट गलत बना था तो इससे पता चलता है कि वो अपने काम में बहुत ही परफेक्ट है इसलिए उन्हें फादर ऑफ हॉकी कहा जाता है और आज सुबह अशोक कुमार जी उनके सुपुत्र उन्हें ये भी कहा कहा था कि मेरे पिताजी जहाँ भी हो स्वर्ग में हो वो बड़े खुश होंगे कि हमारा भारत हॉकी में इतना आगे हो रहा है और सफल हो रहा है धन्यवाद वंस अगेन हैप्पी नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे एंड हैप्पी ओनम जातीय क्रीडा दिनोत्सव गुरी विवरी धन्यवाद क्रीडा दिनोत्सव का इंकोक प्रत्येकता अदसाबा विषय ओनम कदा अवन इपू ओनम पड़ग ग विवरी वैष्णवी मन मुझे वे अंदर आह्वाद Good morning to respected teachers and my dear friends. Do you know the importance of today? Today is an auspicious day for Kerala lights. Today is Onam. I am here to share a few words about Onam. Onam is an annual Indian harvest festival celebrated predominantly by the Hindus of Kerala. It is the official festival of the state and includes a spectrum of cultural events. According to Hindu legends, Onam is celebrated in Kerala to honor the homecoming of a mythical demon king Mahabali. Mahabali was a demon, but he was known for being generous and kind-hearted. Onam falls in the month of Chingam, which is the first month according to Malayalam calendar. The celebrations mark the Malayalam New Year. are spread over 10 days and concluded with tiruvanam 
The first and last days are particularly important in Kerala and to Malayali communities elsewhere. The Onam celebrations across the state starts off with a grand procession near Kochi. The parade features decorated elephants marching with drum beats and other music, folk art forms and colorfully dressed people with masks. The floral rangoli known as Pukalam is out of the gathered blossoms with several variety of flowers at entrances and temple premises like a flower mat. Onam brings with it the promise of abundance, happiness and prosperity. Let the colors and lights of Onam fill our homes with happiness and joy. Wishing you a very happy Onam to all. Thank you. Hi Ishan. Namaste Sushma. Sushma, what are you doing here? Ishan, today is Telugu Pasha Dinochavam. Gidugu Ram Murthigari, Janma Dinam Sandar Banga. Manamu Eerojo Anaga, August 29th, Telugu Pasha Dinochavam. Aunu Sushma, Na tali ni anta gaura vistamo, mana bahasa ni kuda ante gaura vinchali. Telugu ane di, dravida bahasa le kuto mana ke chen dene bahasa. Telugu bahasa nu ekuaga, Andhra Madhya Telangga ane lomat lar tar. Ishan, prapamcha vyaptanga, matru bahasa matlaade bahasa ga, padihe na vastanam lo undi Ishan. Sushma, Sri Krishna Deva Rayalu, Telugu Bhashanu, Desha Bhashalandu Telugu Lestani Annaru. Auno Ishan, Telugu Bhashalu, Goppavalu Rasina, Kavitalu, Rachanalu, Padhyalu, Chala Unnai. Ante Kaadu Sushma, Manu Bhashalu, Ennenno Goppa Geetalu, Mahabharatam, Ramayanam, Bhagavatam, Ilantivi Ennenno Unnai. Pasha Yedaina Adi Manakana Talito Samanam Manatalini Yanta Gaura Vistamo Manabasha Nikuda Ante Gaura Vinchali Aunu Sushma Telugu Basha Gurunchi and the Chepukuna Takue Anduke Manandaram Telugu Basha Gaura Vidam Danyavada Lu